and you'll notice throughout the building you're going to notice a lot of um adinkra symbols this is one the sankofa uh what that teaches and alondra knows really well is that we honor our ancestors but we also serve in love because that is the future generation which is what we're paying forward to and um we talk a lot about endurance uh being a um, versatile community and unity and um in this community arts reach program um nonprofit we tend to want to share that um symbols we place them all over the walls uh, a lot of people ask what does that mean and that's what we're trying to intentionally invoke question for curiosity which opens the door to share i am bernadette bj lark of course most popularly known as bj I serve as the founder and director for Community Arts Reach, a nonprofit organization that is preserving arts in African American culture. My name is Alonja Harris. I am 18. I'm a recent graduate from William Fleming High School, and I plan to attend Liberty University in the fall. Alonja, I knew early on, was gifted to sing. Just a um, magnificent voice. Foxes have holes, he had no where to go, no place to lay his head. So if anyone knows, he understands. I just remember liking what she did and wanting to follow in her footsteps um, and learning what she has taught others. And I've known her for most of my life. And so as I got older, the things she would show me, the play she does, the events she does, I would always want to be a part of those things. And so that ultimately um, came with the decision of moving forward with music and art, the arts and what she's done. One thing you'll find, especially in Gullah Geechee culture, when it's Christmas or the holidays, you're going to be able to see a nativity. And so um, being rooted in that, um, just about every church on every corner is going to do a Christmas production. So no matter if they never do anything during Easter or Valentine's or Thanksgiving, you can depend on that story being told during the holiday. So um, Kuzaliwa, it was definitely different because we wanted to fuse the story directly from the Holy Scriptures, but I was inspired a lot by Langston Hughes, Black Nativity. And um, when sitting to write the script and uh, trying to figure out how can we put dance and music and some strong poetry with spoken word, we recognized that um, the center of it all was a love story. That's a play we do every year around the holiday time. It's the story of the birth of Jesus, um, originally written by Miss BJ and directed by her. And I definitely look forward to it every year. It's just a fun experience to see everybody come together and tell a good story. We are intentional with the love being at the core of what we are sending out in hopes to uplift others, especially during the holiday. What makes Kuz Aliwa special is it's rooted in love and we're intentional with being in the spirit of excellence when we go forth to share. So Gullah Geechee is just a name given to a group of people. Um, it dates back as early as the 1500s. They were brought here against their will and were um, made a force to stop their traditions, um, including their language. Um, there was a group that were just defiant. They refused to uh, let all of their traditions go. And so um, you'll find that Gullah Geechee language is an intentional language of communicating among your family and loved ones. I grew up in Gullah Geechee area of South Carolina. My mom, missionary, my dad's a pastor, still doing that work. They taught me that the service of God's love was not just inner walls, but it was how you serve people in community. So I grew up literally with a lot of Gullah Geechee traditions of sharing food, sharing song. Through my parents, I learned a lot about, you might as well say, music. Um, 
um, like I was saying, when you walk into any church in Gullah Geechee regions, you're probably going to find at least one on every roll with that wooden floor. And you'll hear that tempo being set without a drum, the humming, the belting of song, the call and response. And that was what we call soul stirring. So you really didn't need a band of instruments to make that happen. Just voices and people using their hands and patting and clapping their feet. So really, really good culture. And I'm rooted in that. So I take it wherever I go. When your soul is stirred, it almost reminds you of the blues. You're, you're humming or singing from a place inside where it may be need healing. Um, maybe it's to bring testimony of healing that you went through. It might be coming from a place of joy. Um, and when I say soul stirring, these are those attributes that are not of the world. So the joy that you have, the world didn't give it, so the world can't take it. The love that you have, the world didn't give it, so the world can't take it. What I'm learning is that the Gullah Geechee tradition has pretty much its own style of food, music, uh, art, and things like that, that a lot of people could benefit from in learning um, different traditions and cultures, not just what you have in this community, but other communities so we can all be unified. So every community, uh, which is great, has its own characteristics of, and culture. So when we leave from where we are native and we travel, we take the best of us with us and all traditions that are intended to be shared. So being here in Virginia, I have connected with other Gullah Geechee folk and um, I'm glad to know that the tradition is alive and well. One of the things that we were intentional years ago was finding out who was missing. There were a lot of areas that are underserved. There are a lot of areas that um, it's just a matter of affordability. So it wasn't about our youth and families not having that gift or not having that ability or talent. There should never be a pocket in the community where you cannot come together in unity and burst out in song or grab some paintbrushes and begin to express yourself visually or dance or spoken words. Why don't I share the best parts of me with community and see if people will come? And for years, they've been coming. When I let it out, uh, especially to other people, I'm hoping that they can feel the same way, um, get the same healing maybe, get the same peace, happiness, joy, whatever um, soul stirring for them, what, what that means to them, uh, they can get that out too. I feel that when you've been given a gift or a talent and um, you are aware of that and that could be one of your purposes, like I often tell a lot, you're born with the gift. It's intended to be shared. For me, it's, it's an honor to serve because when people come to receive from you, that's honorable. Mm -hmm.